Hey YouTubers, Diecast Collectors. It is September 11th, 2013. And uh, on this day, it is, I think it was the 12th anniversary, anniversary of 9-11. And sad, sad day. Um, hope everyone's making it through. Uh, there's been a lot of stuff in the news lately which is kind of, uh, I don't know, there's just a lot of stuff going on, which it's just, it was, I always look back on that and I always think it was a really um, sad day and just, um, like I said, so um, without further ado, um, this is my diecast haul video. Haven't had this in a while, haven't put anything up in a long time, so I figured uh, today was a good day to make a video. So a few weekends ago, I went to my local flea market and I made some pickups while I was there. First car I got was this Motor Trend. This is out of uh, the Johnny Lightning collection. Um, personally, I really like Johnny Lightning's a lot. Really one of my favorite uh, cars uh, to collect that are nice high dollar die cast. So this is actually one of my favorites. Um, but this is a 68 Roadrunner. Um, this is the one that had that horn. The meat meat horn. But uh, yeah, these are pretty cool. But uh, here's the back. This is out of the... Uh, Playing Mantis period of Johnny Lightning when they were owned by Playing Mantis. Pretty cool. But, uh, yeah. But a uh, pretty sweet piece. There's a little thing where you can sign up. And actually, I found out that if you call the number, this old number for the Collector's Club, it's actually the same, still the same number for Tell Me. So. It's interesting how they kept that same exact number for Johnny Lightning for the old Collectors Club. And you can reach Tell Me by calling this number. So, even though it's an old number, you can actually, if you call 1 800 Mantis 8 or whatever it is, you can actually still reach uh, Johnny Lightning. I mean, not Johnny Lightning, but Tell Me's company. Which is kind of interesting, but. It's just weird how they've kept that same number and yet they're not even owned by Playing Mantis anymore. But I just wanted to give you that little information because I once tried to call up this number and I got Tommy. So kind of a curious little fact about these cars. So that is the first one. Second car I got was the 71 Roadrunner. Pretty nice car. Metal base as usual. No rubber tires, but, um, yeah, really cool. Um, then we have this one. I got this, uh, Muscle Cars Firebird 400 Convertible. Pretty sweet car. I really like this. A lot of nice interior detail. Good details on the sun visors. Dashboard's a different color. And you got a really nice uh, looking engine in there. You can't really see it because of the glare, but um, very nice car. This one with rubber tires. And this is out of the RC2 period, or Ertl. But pretty nice car. This was in 2007. So a little newer, a little newer Johnny Lightning for for me at least to pick up and I got a few more things at the flea market first off I got the Jesse James this is one of the Jesse James cars this is a metal base metal bodied it does have a set of exhaust tips on the back here um, this is not the version of the of the uh, one that they sold in Walmart. And the one they sold in Walmart, uh, there was one a few years ago. I don't know if you guys know this, but 
Walmart had to discontinue um, selling these because one of them said F U on the back of it. Um, be oh, or maybe it said F off or something, but yeah, it actually said that on the back, and Walmart had to discontinue selling these um, because. They didn't want kids buying their die casts with stuff like that on there, so they had to discontinue selling them. But if you can find that version that has those words on it, um, it's worth a lot of money because they did they made a very short production run of them. So check your uh, check eBay; it'll probably sell for a lot for a little car, but it's pretty cool. Um, but no, this one says West Coast Chopper on the back of it. Um, this actually has an opening hood. Let me get it open. There we are. You can actually see that there's a blue engine block in there. It's a straight six. You have your air cleaner. There's an orange bit on there. I don't know if you can exactly see it. But there was, there's like a little orange bit there. Pretty nice under hood detailing. Another neat feature of this car, I don't think anyone's ever seen this, but if you press the running gear, it actually pops up, and it goes down, and it pops up, goes down, so it's kind of a low rider. I'll show you with this package, but if you press it, it'll go down, it'll go up and down, a pretty cool feature. goes down and it goes up see pretty cool it's called slam but I just call it like a it's like a spring lock system really it doesn't really uh unfortunately though I actually had the liberty of taking one of these apart um, taking this one apart um, the interior is not exactly complete because of that they have to put all the hydraulics in this thing so it kinda stinks because you don't get a complete interior in these cars but I do I think it's a neat little feature of the car yeah I do so that's it for that one and when I was there I'd also managed to get another Johnny Lightning uh, this one's out of the Johnny Lightning retro series this is a Plymouth Barracuda it is in kind of a candy apple red color. Pretty nice car. You can see plastic wheels. And then you have your front bumper, which has headlights on it, painted on. Then you got the other side, which has the uh, painted on trim. And you can kind of see a little logo that they did. Pretty nice. I really do like this color, red being one of my favorite colors for cars and I do try to get a lot of cars in red just depends on what it is but here we go I can get the hood open sometimes you have to smack the base on these a little to get them opened but here we go underneath the hood is a relatively for them this is pretty basic just a gray engine bay and not really much else there's no painted air cleaner on this one but it's still pretty nice has retro 2 on there of course it's got I would call these mag wheels um, these are plastic tires although to me on the older Johnny Lightning's plastic wheels don't really bother me that much I do like like the other few people have said with the older Johnny Lightning's I know if you're a subscriber to any other channel I know you've heard that before but plastic wheels aren't are, don't really take any points away from me on older Johnny Lightnings. On the newer Tomies, I think they're cheaper looking, but for me on the older ones, I think it's definitely not that bad. At least it's nicer than some of the Hot Wheels wheels, but I think these are still pretty cool. So, Johnny Lightning Retro Barracuda. Also, I did make a trade with the tool guy at the flea market. Um, he's the guy I buy most of the majority of my stuff from. And when I traded with him, I did get this car. This one's really nice. Um, 
I had a, like five die cast cars that were 1 18th scale and some of them were models I had put together and I didn't really want them laying around anymore and I had about five of them some were 124 some were 1 18th so to be honest with you I thought I would made a pretty good trade because he said he'd give me 20 bucks straight up for all of them so when I was at the flea market I bought the Johnny Lightnings for a fair price and I also did manage to pick this up um, Williams BMW Team Formula One pretty nice Williams F1 team on the side there and it's uh, Juan Pablo Montoya pretty nice car I think I know who Pablo Montoya is I think he's been in a lot of different racing stuff um, I think he's from Spain I believe um, definitely a Spanish sounding name um, but I think he was a pretty good racer from the stuff I've heard um, I do not know a whole, I don't know a whole lot about him but I haven't been living under a rock completely I do know who the BMW Formula One team is and if I was going to get another one of these this is actually one of my favorite F1 teams um, I would also have to get a Michael Schumacher Ferrari um, because Michael Schumacher was also one of my favorite F1 racers. Um, I do like Formula One. I don't like NASCAR because I don't see the point of watching a bunch of people drive around in a circle honestly and I'm just not a big NASCAR fan. I'm more into Formula One and I like drifting and stuff so and I like rally racing so this is pretty cool though. I'm not going to go too more on about what motorsports I like but pretty cool it's got the Michelin logo right there it has the Alon's logo right here it says FedEx HP HP again there Castrol HP lots of HP logos around pretty sweet I really do like this a lot um, the front wheels do steer, um, but I'm not going to bother to open this. There's not a whole lot of opening features on this as many Hot Wheels models have. Um, but I looked it up and I got this for way under what it's actually worth because on the internet some of these are going for about $70 or more. If you're lucky you can get it for $70 on eBay. This however I did get it for 20 bucks, so I'm pretty lucky to get this for the price I did. Um, you can definitely tell this is an older generation of Formula One, but this is still pretty cool. So, this is from 2004. Alright, so I'm going to stop talking about that, and I'm going to move on to more die casts. I was out at my Toys R Us a few days later, and I happened to pick up a bunch of Hot Wheels. First off, I got the Italian Job Morris Mini. I did like I do like this a lot, and if you've seen the videos on Race Grooves' channel, uh, you would know that this actually pops off the chassis, which is a cool feature of this car. The hood does not open, but it is a pop-off body with this car, so pretty cool. Of course, I won't be cracking this and or opening it as as they call it cracking but I will not be opening this very nice front grill is metal to match with the base painted headlights then you got your side door handles all the stuff you expect to see on a model that costs this much really but then you got your painted taillights on the back and then I got the Miami Vice car very nice Ferrari uh, 364 GTS4 Daytona Spider. Very nice trim painted on. Very nice headlights, tail lights. And then you got your windshield with the painted black with the windshield wipers. Very nice. And then you have the nice box art here with the palm trees and looks really cool. But pretty cool car. I was there. I also managed to get a few of the cool classics, more of them. I only had one. I got the Mercury Cyclone a few weeks before that, and this is the uh, this is the other 
few that I've picked up. This one is a 40s Ford Coupe. Very nice uh, trim. Or flame trim or whatever you call it. Flame paint. Flame deco. Sorry, I'm kind of losing my spot here. Um, losing my mind. <laughs> um, very nice car. Uh, definitely cool with the retro slots. However, I honestly think the $3 price point's a little much. Honestly, with no taillight tampos or headlight tampos, I believe it's a little much for a car that's supposed to be nicer. And I'm, personally, I think to be replacing the boulevards, I guess it's okay, but I mean, I liked it when we had the boulevards a little bit better. I was more into those, but eh, what are you going to do? But, uh, and I still kind of think it should have had rubber tires, even though it doesn't bother me a whole lot, but still, to be paying that much for this car, I believe that, uh, it's a little much. Like I said, metal base, metal body, which I expect at least to have a metal base on a car that costs this much. And then again, we have this right here. Plymouth Belvedere 426 wedge. Very cool. I'm also going to try and get the Chrysler Turbine and the Blastus Moto if I can find them. I think that'll be on my my agenda on my next shopping trip. If I ever go out to Walmart again, I'm going to try to hit my Yorktown Walmart, which is close to me. And honestly, the one in Yorktown's got more stuff, but the other two Walmarts I have, there's one that's a little further away that's gotten stuff, but... I have one in my downtown area, then they're kind of slack on some of the stuff that they get in, but and this one's pretty cool. I do like this, it has a wedge on it, an orange wedge. I would call it an orange wedge, but I don't know what, you, what exactly you would call that. Metal base, again retro slots on this one, these are probably all going to end up having the retro slot wheels which are pretty cool. They're a new thing from Hot Wheels, which I do like. Pretty cool. Spectra Frost is what they call that. I think half the cost you're paying for with these is for the really super nice looking shiny paint. I don't know, but it's definitely a cool alternative to having to order from the Red Line Club and all that. But for a car, I think they're okay for three bucks, but I think they probably should have been like two dollars maybe maybe a little more maybe a step up from a basic main line but I still thought they should have been two dollars but I can't complain after that I also got the Anchorman van this is pretty cool KVWN News pretty nice San Diego pretty nice Tampos I do like the mirrors and all that. This is pretty nice. Like I said, very nice uh, vehicle. Um, I do like Anchorman. I haven't seen the first one. I do want to see the second one. This does have the metal base, as you'd expect to see in this car. But like I said, very nice model. Also, I, uh, I did pick up um, this. I've been wanting to get some military vehicles for a while, and I did manage to get the International MXTs. I actually got two of them because I have a big military setup, and I wanted to have these for the uh, diorama. So, like I said, I have a bunch of Zerbos, so I figured these would go along with it great because of the tan. And you don't normally see military vehicles, so I decided I was going to pick up two before people snatched up the rest of them so yeah very nice pretty cool plastic base got the uh, tampos no interior but that doesn't really matter to me because I've been wanting some military stuff for a while I think Matchbox can't do the interiors of these probably because they're military classified type things so I guess that's why they don't do interior on this pretty cool though like I said, another MVA. Got two of them. And it says MXT MVA on the side. It's got 
these black tampos. There's a logo international for the international logo. There are no headlights and there are no tail lights, but this is a pretty nice detailed piece and I do like it. This was kind of a random pickup too. I think I went to Walmart and I got this. This is a Ferrari 512 Berlinetta. However, it has painted tail lights. Not painted, no painted tail lights, sorry. Has painted headlights. Has got the Ferrari trim on the side, the, the logo, the tampo here. No painted tail lights or mufflers or anything like that. But $1 car, what can you expect? I also did go to Walmart a few weeks ago and I actually got two of these honestly guys if you want my view on the new Johnny Lightnings I think they're a genuine the new Johnny Lightnings are a genuine POS um, I like the I like these for for five bucks you get what you pay for and this is pretty nice step up from the new Johnny Lightnings I think nice painted front end bumper Got the nice headlight tampos, all the trim you would expect to see on this car. You got tail lights, you even got a spoiler up here that says Trans Am. If you want something that's not as expensive as an M2 machine and something that's cheaper, I mean, this right here is going to be your best bet, guys. Uh, these are pretty awesome. There's actually a QR code if you want to scan this into your phone, unfortunately. If you don't have a smartphone, I don't think you can do anything else because I think this is just for smartphone users. I don't know if you can put a code or anything in. Maybe it's on the base, but I'm not going to open it to find out. But uh, pretty cool. Again, here's the box art on the back. And then this shows you the first tooling of these cars. And I love these a lot. Like I said, these are the nicest cars to come out of Walmart in a long time. Again, I got another Auto Art. This one is the Auto World, sorry, not Auto Art, Auto World Dodge Dart Phoenix. Another true 164th. Again, nice headlight tampos, very nice looking side trim. And of course, these tail lights are painted. There's even a license plate on this. This personally, to me, is nicer than the even the older Johnny Lightnings. I like these better. Uh, guys, if you're in Walmart, check your pegs for these. Um, you want to step up from crappy one these Tomy Johnny Lightnings they're selling now this is better than the Johnny Lightnings that they have now if you guys want to step up from those start picking yourself up some of these because these are pretty awesome I highly recommend these very nice car but yeah okay I'm done with my rant about older Johnny Lightnings and all that I also did finally get my car to complete my Cheerios General Mills set. I did get the Cheerios car. I was trying to complete the General Mills collection and I finally did. Custom 52 Chevy. Very nice. Now personally guys, I like the way they did these a lot. I think it makes all the difference what color scheme they choose and what car they choose for everything. I just like how they made everything look like almost like a delivery vehicle. Like you got quick D delivery, hauling gas, and your Cheerios truck. And they're all pretty much trucks. The only thing that's really not is the pack and pacer. But still, that's pretty cool because that's almost like a cat would be kind of like a promotional vehicle for it. That's just the way I like the way they did all of these, really. Because this just looks like this could have been the truck that delivered Cheerios back in the day. I really like how they did that. But thumbs up to Hot Wheels for the General Mills series. I really do like these. If they ever make another series, I will definitely pick them up. And I finally managed to get my first Zamac. Um, really cool. Yeah, I wanted to get this really bad. Um, pretty cool Camaro. However, I'm not super big on blue wheels. I guess it's just because I didn't want to be boring but it's okay I guess blue wheels but it was a Zamac and Zamacs are hard to find and this one I won't be cracking I'm sorry to disappoint but this one will not get cracked but yeah one Zamac I do own pretty cool random pickup and I was gonna do a special with all six of them 
but I did get it. The Wolfman bus. Volkswagen T1. Honestly, been wanting to get this for a while. Really like this a lot. Pretty cool. As usual, all six. I know you guys have seen them, but there you go. If you haven't seen these yet in any video, just in case. But I do want to get the Dra. I'll probably end up picking up the Dracula one, the Frankenstein, and maybe the Mummy first. Because I think those will be the most popular. I'll probably save the Creature, the Black Lagoon, and the Bride of Frankenstein for last. Because I don't think those will be as popular. But, there we are. Also, another random pickup. I got the cool combi. Engine shot there. Kind of. There we are. Front end's painted. I love the headlights and the Volkswagen logo and all that. Alright guys, well, that is the haul that I have for now. Um, I will be back with another video. Anyways, I am Jared White, the JMan63. Check everything out that I have. Look at all my videos. And if you haven't looked at them by now, check them out. Comment on everything. Rate and subscribe. Like. All that. Like I said, likes are appreciated. It's appreciated if you subscribe, and if you haven't and you're a Hot Wheels diecast fan, check me out, like I said. Anyways, if it has to do with diecast, it has to be the J-Man 63. See you guys later. Goodbye.